Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wafferman here with the Airstream DMX Bridge video manuals. Now one of the questions that I've received uh, quite a bit since the inception of the program is, are you going to be able to not only stack scenes, which I showed in the last video, but also can you do momentary flashes, such as a strobe override? Now the quick answer is yes you can. Now remember that this program always works in LTP, which means latest takes priority. So you got to be careful how you work the flash buttons because you might shut off another button. But with the right programming and the right forward thinking when you're programming, you'll be able to accomplish quite a bit. Let's go ahead and do that. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut off the Inno Pocket Spot Twins. I still have my Wi-Fi QA5 running in the background. All right, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to open a currently active scene. And I just want to see what strobe that I like. So again, in this case, I already know that I want to take it pretty much around 245 to 255. I'm happy anything above that. So we're going to go back to scenes and we're going to shut it off. Make sure that that's all cleared. Great. Again, make sure that whatever fixtures you want to strobe are selected. And now we're going to click on assign. And I'm actually going to go ahead and, oops, prename a scene. So there's scene four. We're going to call it strbfl the button is going to be called strb ob or ob for override fl for flash and i'm going to make it red because that's what i prefer them to be but i'm not going to go ahead and enable the flash button yet so i'm going to click done we're going to click save and it's going to say scene has been saved all right now it's saved but there's nothing overriding it so now i'm going to bring my strobe speed to around 250, 249. We're going to save it and we're going to overwrite the file. Scene has been saved. Now watch what happens. If I go here and I select that, awesome, we're done. But now I'm going to go back to my assign. We're going to click on this and now we're going to enable the flash button and we're going to save it. When no scene is selected, then it doesn't select any channel value. So you can't overwrite a scene that's not selected. It'll say, sorry, it can't save it yet. So I have to enable that scene to make sure those channel values are selected and then save it. Hope that made sense. Now we're going to overwrite the file. Great, it has been saved. We're going to go back. And now, when I hit my 4SO button, remember that there's a fade that's set on this particular scene, and I hit on Scene Override. There it is right there. Now, I know on the iPad it doesn't show that I'm holding it down, but I'll put it right over here so you guys can see. There it is. Rock and roll, people. And so there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a good one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Good night and God bless.